welcome to Bay Area Art Beat. I have the great pleasure this week of being at the Richmond Art Center, where there's a fabulous show of art of the African diaspora. And the chair of the committee that put the show together is here, Stephen Bruce, and he's going to tell you about the show and about himself. And go to it, Stephen. Well, um, this is the 24th year of the, this exhibit at the Richmond Art Center. And um, um, we're fortunate uh, the steering committee um, has put a beautiful show together, 150 artists, over 150 artists. Um, and it's 20% uh, more than last year, so it's the biggest show we've ever had. Mm, so we're really excited great. about that. Um, and um, I, I have to say that you know, this is brought to you by a steering committee of artists who have been participating in this exhibit over the years and probably have a combined, um, combined, combined tw 200 years of uh, experience um, with, this, with this show. And so um, it's, it's with their help that really, you know, that makes this happen um, like anything else. Uh, if you don't have great people working, you know, it just doesn't happen. Yeah. And so this is my first time being in the gallery with the work up. And so it's really exciting to me uh, to see some of the work and, and see some of the planning finally come to fruition. We, we still have a lot to, you know, to prepare for. Um, the exhibit here um, is the focal point of the art of the African diaspora. Um, and so all the artists who are participating in the show will have a work up in this, in this uh, gallery. Um, the other component is there's a open studio um, uh, tour that happens uh, towards the end of the uh, exhibit, uh, the last uh, the last weekend of February, trans uh, transitioning into March, and then the two subsequent weekends in March, where people could come out in the community here in the Bay Area and see artists in their studios and experience, you know, a little more of what they might see here. Yeah. Get a chance to have a little more one on one with the artists. Um, and I think we have 97 artists who are participating in open studios. Wow. Uh, and so, in addition to that, we have what we call satellite exhibits. Satellite exhibits are exhibits um, where artists might have a show at uh, perhaps um, uh, a little frame shop or a, or a coffee shop mm. or a gallery. And so um, we have over 30 exhibits going on uh, throughout the program. And I think the first, uh, one of the first ones opens uh, this week at Era Art Bar. Oh. And next week uh, there's a couple opening in Danville and one in San Pablo and they're okay. all affiliated with the show. Great, great. I, it, if you could send us that information, I, maybe we can post it. Oh, ab absolutely. I think we're work, right now we're work finalizing all the, where all the artists are gonna be and, yeah. and the maps and so forth. And uh, we produce a, a catalog that will be available. So if, if you come to the opening of this show, and the opening is the 25th of January, oh, great. Um, you know, there's a catalog that you could pick up it tells you about each of the artists. Um, it honors the founders of this show. This show was founded by two amazing women, um, Ray Louise Haywood and Jan Hart Shires. And uh, both of them have passed away, yeah. but their vision was to create an exhibit where African-American artists could have exposure and be in a you know, prestigious setting like the Richmond Art Center. Yeah. And, um, and so uh, we continue to focus on you know, finding artists, uh, giving them the tools to improve their art practice as well as you know gain exposure yeah yeah well th this show is a tradition and, and i mean i think it is yeah and um you're an artist yourself right i, I am an artist i uh, <laughs> i paint with acid on copper kind of a weird thing you know splashing stuff like pickle juice and hot sauce on copper and making a, a you know colors develop yeah um, but i think one of the exciting things about this show is that um you know, it's art of the African diaspora. Yes. But you can tell based on some of the work that you might see in, in the exhibit, as well as somebody who's doing something, you know, um, that's probably very untraditional like myself, the breadth of creativity that yes. you can find. And it's not maybe what you think. Um, you will come and you'll find, you know, various uh, mediums, techniques, approaches. And I think that's one of the things that makes this show so uh, exciting. Well, thank you. It's been a great pleasure That's, speaking to thank you. Thank you very much. And I look forward to all the events associated with it that are coming you. up. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you. And congratulations, really. Thanks an awful lot.
Welcome back to Bay Area Art Beat. Our next guest is Zoe Boston. And in this show, uh, an independent gallery owner came and looked through this show and picked three best of shows. And those are the three people that we are going to have the pleasure of interviewing. And um, they each have an image on the poster, and Zoe Boston is one of them. So tell us about yourself, Zoe. Oh man. So I'm a painter and a singer, and I paint on uh, canvas. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this, is, this is not the first show. You've been other shows here before, right? Yes. So I've shown at the Richmond Art Center. Uh, this is my fourth year, I believe. And I've also shown a, a, a lot of other galleries in the Bay Area as well. Yeah, where here. else have you shown your work? I've shown at uh, the Joyce Gordon Gallery. Oh, sure, that's a lovely I've, gallery. Yeah, I love yeah. that gallery. Did you have just a piece there, or have you, did you have a show there, one person show? I've had a group show. I actually had a group show with yeah. the two other um, oh, with awardees. The, uh, yeah. So it, have you three people worked together before? Or? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I asked you that. So do you have studio together? or? Um, oh, no, we all paint like in separate studios. In separate studios, mm -hmm. but you've done group shows. Yes. Oh, that's great. What other group shows have you done? So we did one at the Joyce Gordon Gallery. Yeah. Um, I think that might be... Oh, we've done two at the Joyce Gordon Gallery, actually. Great. Mm -hmm. I love that gallery. Me too. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm. So that's exciting. And um, tell, me, uh, tell me about your work. And um, do you mainly do women, painting of women? or? For the most part, I mainly paint women. Because they're usually extensions of myself. I used to try to... Um, show lessons and messages and things I've learned through my art. Yeah. Um, if I were to describe it, I would say it's like Afrofuturistic um, uh -huh. with a surrealis surrealism twist to it. Okay. Um, and I usually um, get inspirations from everywhere from life and God and like learned lessons and things like that. And I try to show them through metaphors. And so each painting I have has a, like a unique and distinct meaning to, to it. Okay, mm -hmm. and and you're a singer. You perform too as a singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where do you sing? I sing original songs as well. Um, my inspiration comes from the same places. Uh, I like to incorporate my music with my art, so people get a full picture of. Oh, great, mm -hmm. great. So, do do you sing in galleries and things like that? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah, so great. I've um, I've performed um, various places in the Bay Area. I've also sung at galleries too. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, and you're going to be part of the open studio tour. Mm -hmm. Where Where is your studio? So I will be showing at the Joyce Gordon Gallery. Oh, at, um, I will be showing at, um, what is it called, Laney College. Um, yeah. I'll be showing at the Women's Cancer Resource Center as well. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Are you, do you go to Laney College or? I don't go to Laney College. No. You don't go to Laney College. <laughs> well, they have a nice gallery there, mm. so that'll be lovely. And I, I've also been to a gallery at the Women's Cancer Center. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, they do. There's amazing works. So, um, do, what are your plans for the future? Oh man, I mean, just continue to do what I'm doing now. But uh, my goal is to just get better. You know, continue to impact people's lives and. I like to use my art to help people. So the more I can do that, the better. Great, great. And, and, and you're a full-time artist. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful you can do that. It's Thank fabulous. you. Yeah. So, um, OK. I think um, it's been a great pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. And, Likewise. Um, we'll come, I urge people to come and see this show and to look at the um, associated events and you're, you're going to be giving a talk with the artists on the 25th right yes january 25th yeah the, the three artists will be talking then mm -hmm. okay we have more questions they can ask you then <laughs> a lot of questions thank you so much thank Sally. you I really appreciate you being on the show thank you we'll be right back with our next guest
Hi. Uh, our next guest is Abby. Tell me how to say your last name. Mustafa. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is this the first time you've done this show? This is my second year. Second year. Show. Yeah. And um, your work is really interesting. I hope that. I mean, I'm, I'm going to urge every segment for people to come and see the show, but, um, and, and it's on the poster. You were one of the three winners that were picked. Who chose the winners? Oh, a guy I know who did. <laughs> uh, the, a gallery came and chose them, so that's great. Is this the first time you've won the show, or? Yes. Yeah, great. last year was my first year in the show, and my first year winning the show. Great. And you're from Oakland? I live in Oakland currently. I'm originally from Indiana. Oh, okay. When did you come to the um, Bay Area? Um, I came to the Bay Area in 2013. Uh huh. And I kind of hopped around a little bit. I was in Oakland and then Santa Cruz and San Francisco, and then I came back to Oakland. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. So, um, is this? Are you able to do art full time, or you, you do a whole bunch of other things? I like, do a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to tell us some of the other things you do? I do a lot of digital art for people, so I do a little bit of graphic design and logo work here and there. Um, I teach English. Oh, great. Yeah, and I hop in and out of those, so sometimes I can do art full-time for a couple months at a time, and then other times I have to pick up little jobs. Yeah. I mean, that's the way most people have to do yeah. it. It's yeah. really hard to do it any other way. Yeah. And where is your studio? I work out of my home right oh. now. Great. Are you going to be part of the open studio tour? I am. Joyce Gordon is actually hosting the three of us oh, um, great. for that open studio section of the show. That is so wonderful. I love that gallery. Yeah, I really I do. do. It's great. They have a, a Generations poetry reading there, and I don't know if that's going to take place while... Oh, I hope it does. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a wonderful event. So, um, we're, and so that, that's great. So the three of you will be there. Yeah. And a good plug for Joyce Jordan. <laughs> uh, do you want to say anything else about the show? Um, about this show specifically? Yeah. The show is amazing. There's so many talented artists in this show, and it's a variety of work, too, which is really cool. So it's yeah. not just specifically one theme. You can come here and see a ton of different art across a ton of different mediums yeah. by like spanning generations of people. So it's a really, really cool show to be a part of and for yeah. people to come and see. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've, I've been in the Bay Area, and it, it's like an institution, almost this show every year. I mean, I really wanted to get here and, and be able to talk about it. What did, what did you do in Indiana before you came here? Um, I grew up in Indiana, and then I graduated from Indiana University. What did you study? Political science. Political science, of <laughs> and, course. Yeah, and sustainability. <laughs> and um, I worked on farms for a while and did a lot with permaculture. And yeah. that's actually how I got out here. And then I, I've always drawn and like done lots with drawing and painting, and I always just kept doing that, and somehow it transformed into what I'm actually doing now, and what yeah. I want to be doing, so. Oh, great. Yeah. I mean, it's great to do the flexibility to be able to do that. Yeah. And the Oakland art scene is exciting, right? Do you want to say anything about that? The Oakland art scene is popping. There's so much going on here. There's yeah. always something happening here. There's always a different show every weekend. There's multiple shows. Um, it's a great place to live if you're trying to hustle in the art life to really yeah. create that. Like, I know multiple artists here who are thriving just doing their art, and so that's the goal for me, oh, that's too. That's wonderful. To, like, get to that point where really you wonderful. Can just do art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, who did you, stu did you study with anybody? Are you self-taught? I'm mostly self-taught. Yeah, I took ceramics in college, and okay. I actually, I taught ceramics out here when I first came to Oakland. Oh, great. Um, but, yeah, for drawing, I just, I mostly draw. I learned from other students in high school who are really good at drawing. And they've gone on to like design school and fashion stuff, but yeah. Great, great. Where do you teach English? Where? Um, I teach online mostly. Oh, you teach online. Yeah. Great. I used to teach at a school in Berkeley, and now yeah. I just teach online. Yeah, great, great. So, what are your plans for the future? Oh my gosh, so many. Uh, I love to travel, so yeah. I my next trip is probably going to be to Mexico, okay. and then um, my parents. My dad is from Sierra Leone, West Africa. And so I plan to go there for next Christmas, hopefully, and then hop over to Kenya and be able to take some of the photographs that are similar to the work that I do, so. Great, great. Yeah. So, so you have one parent from Africa? Yeah, my dad's from Sierra Leone. Good. Yeah. Is he, when did he come to? Uh, he came here when he was uh, 18 or 19 uh -huh. for college, yeah. for school. Oh, and they stayed? Yeah, he stayed. 
and now they, they have a huge school project. They, both my parents are retired teachers, and they just built a school, and they're working on a clinic right now. Great. And they're just like, they're just doing it. They're so good at creating things. And see, in, I mean, here or in Africa? In Sierra Leone, oh, in wonderful. my dad's village. So they've gone back there now? Yeah, they live there part-time. Oh, great, yeah. great, great. Well, I'm looking forward to um, the events associated with the show and um, urging people to come out and see it. And um, thank you so much oh, for speaking to thank me. Thank you. And um, we'll be right back with our next guest in a few minutes. And uh, so. Welcome back to Bay Area Artbeat. And <clears throat> I'm now interviewing the third of three women artists who have been singled out for their exceptional work in the show. And tell us who you are. Kalima. Kalima. Julian. Julian, okay. <laughs> and you will see her as extraordinary photographs if you come to the show at the Richmond Art Center. Um, is have you always been? Tell me this about you doing photographs. Have you always done photographs? Yeah, I've been doing photography for pretty much a decade. Um, I started out pretty much having a, f a camera that my brother gave to me as like a, a present, um, which was a film camera. And then ever since then, I was just like, wow, this actually looks great. And also doing the process of film. Um, led me to do digital photography, so. Yeah. Yeah. And is this, is this what you do exclusively, or you do something else besides? Uh, do you teach, or? Um, <coughs> I used to teach, but I also um, do more performance art now ah, good. as well. What, what um, kind of performance art? More so like movement, uh, like acting, also a little bit of modeling as well. Great. That's, that's also performance art, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so I, I went to your website and saw some of your work, and it's it's really wonderful. And then Thank people, you. of course, will be able to see it here. Yes. Do you do portraits for people? I I do do portraits for people as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's definitely something I do. So most if somebody of my time. somebody wants a portrait, they can get in touch with you. They can get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the inspiration behind what you're doing? Um, I, I think my inspiration comes from my my visions in terms of like what I I pretty much what I envision um, in order to just have the thought and also just to uh, perform it and see it in front of you or capture it in front of you. That's where my inspiration comes from, and also the ending of the photo just being what I actually envisioned. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so you do that, you have a, an idea about um, what you want to, you have, ha, have a kind of a statement in your mind before you start doing the photo. Right. Uh, and, uh, and so you go through the process and land, and do you, are you usually satisfied with what you land up with? Usually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, very, it's very interesting work. Yes. Do you have, uh, so, uh, people mainly in the arts, I mean, the people that I saw in your photograph were, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like interesting offbeat people. I mean, it wasn't like portrait photography. Yeah. 
Um, m most of what I do or how I take my photos, it comes from a very uh, Afrocentric yeah. uh, perspective. Um, so most of the people that I do choose whenever I do like series or projects or even things within myself, with myself as, as the subject, it usually comes from like a very uh, ant Afrocentric yeah. kind of visual. Yeah. Yeah. You do a lot of stuff as yourself as subject, right? Say that again. Do you do a lot of work as, as yourself as the subject? I just started doing that now. Yeah. Yeah. It makes At first it was other people, but now. Now it's I, you. I started, it's just for me, yeah. 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 So, and do you show your work usually in jo uh, Joyce Gordon Gallery? Uh, actually, last year was the first time showing my stuff. Um, at Joyce Gordon, so that was that was definitely a blessing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it going to be a regular show with an opening and closing and stuff like that, or is it um, a part of open studios? Yeah, she's hosting the three of us this year um, at her gallery for the open studios. Okay, so, so it's only it's up, only up for two days, or I believe so. Yeah, yeah. So if they want to see the work there, they need to go when it's there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Good. And you'll be back for the artist talk on the 25th? On the 25th, indeed. Yeah. 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 And do you do any teaching? Um, as of right now, I don't, but I would like to start doing more um, photography workshops yeah. for uh, people who want to begin photography or don't even necessarily know how to work the camera. Um, I would like to facilitate some workshops yeah. during the spring. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds great. Yeah. And um, what do you think of the show itself, the show? This show is always amazing. Yeah. It's, it, it, it always has a variation of artistry across the walls. It's, it's great. Yeah. I love it. This and is it's your, different mediums, too. This, uh, how many times have you been in the show? I want to say this is either my second or third time. Yeah. 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 Great. Well, congratulations. Thank and you so much. Congratulations for being chosen for, you know, outside. Thank you. Outstanding, yeah. 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 Um, what, what are your plans for the future? Uh, for the future, I definitely am working on a new project um, of a photography series that will be coming out as a card deck. Card um, deck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also a book as well. Um, that's pretty much it for right now. Yeah, tell me about the book. Oh, the book is... What I'm doing with the book is uh, doing most of the photos that I've done that I've started like in the early 2000s, because um, that's pretty much like when I started. So just having like a compilation of work until now is kind of like a mixtape. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. And the card deck. <laughs> and the card deck. Well, that is pretty much. You know how they come out with like um, card decks with messages. You know, like things for the day. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, oh good. Oh, so great. it's going to be like that, like a gratitude or a oh, gratitude good. tarot deck. And there'll be there'll be photos or just yes. Some, yeah. Do you yeah. get you must like to gather sayings too, right? I do. Yeah. 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 So that'll go together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about you? Um. I am a great artist, <laughs> and also, um, I am a very, like, mystical person. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also like to, also, pretty much like to rest in gratitude. Great, great. Well... I think that um, it, it's it's really wonderful. I mean, gratitude for the show and gratitude yes. for being in it and gratitude for being chosen as one of the outstanding artists in the show. You've got you're in great company, and you know that somebody spotted the three of you is pretty amazing. Yes. So um, thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. And um, we'll be back next time. And um, until then. Stay amazed! <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> and